In response to my MOBA comparison video, I received a number of insightful and truly intellectual comments. Some were so thought-provoking as to make me reconsider my entire outlook on the genre. However, there is one reoccurring comment that really... No, not that one. Shut up, I know. I had bad editing speakers, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, leave me alone already. As I was saying, there actually was one consistent comment that really got me thinking. Battle right. I'm not joking, this game is legitimately worth your consideration when comparing MOBAs, and here's why. Number 1. It's actually a MOBA. Without getting too into semantics, all the MOBAs I talked about in my comparison video are actually better described as ARTSs, especially League of Legends and Dota 2. MOBA just stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena, which doesn't accurately convey the heavy emphasis on PvE macro mechanics that these games are known for. Battle Right isn't bogged down by any of that shit. It is, quite literally, nothing but a battle arena. Each team spawns on one end of the map, and your only goal is to be the last champion standing. If that's not the most cut and dry definition of a MOBA out there, I don't know what is. Number two, it's fun and competitive. This game is an amazing example of how awesome MOBA character design can be when it's not bogged down by external balance factors. Each champion feels satisfying to play, has a robust kit of up to 10 abilities, and gives you tons of room to make crazy plays. The gameplay itself feels like a cross between WoW Arenas and League of Legends, but actually fun. Every split second decision you make matters, and it always feels like you can make a comeback. The best part though, is entire matches are played in 5 to 10 minutes, so it's absurdly easy to play for exactly how long you want. Number 3. It's only $30. I know this may sound weird coming from a longtime Dota fanboy, but being able to just straight up buy all the relevant content you'll ever need in a free to play game these days is a fucking blessing. This is actually one of my favorite smite features as well. Sure, I'd rather all the champions be free up front, but having the option to make a one time, reasonably priced purchase to be competitive puts this game's pay model way above most of the competition. The sad thing is, this game is not that popular. In November 2017, the game averaged 16,000 concurrent players, and ups and downs aside, the game has ended up with an average of 4,800 concurrent players last month. This probably has to do with a combination of lackluster marketing and hardcore players burning out, but that's irrelevant. The point is, if you're watching this right now, there's a pretty good chance this game will hold some appeal to you, so I seriously urge you to try it out. It's a uniquely stripped down yet refined MOBA experience that nails most of the genre's strengths without suffering from its weaknesses. TLDR, go download the game right now. This is not a meme or another Heroes of Soulcraft. This game is the real deal, and I really, really don't want it to die. Thanks for watching. This has been Nathan, and I'll see you next week.